Hello everyone, here is Radovan from BSS. Today I will show you how to set up network, IP address, netmask, default gateway, primary and secondary DNS server in Red Hat Enterprise Linux version 7 using Network Manager GUI tool in GNOME. In case if you don't have any desktop environment installed, if you have only minimal install for example, you need to first install group server with GUI. So yum group install server with GUI. It will take some time to install whole group server with GUI. Y for yes. So now server with GUI group was installed. I can reboot server. So shut down minus R now. And we can start GNOME desktop environment with start x command. Start x. And now here is initial configuration of GNOME. So we will use English and English UK keyboard. And uh, we will skip online accounts. Window to set up or change network settings can be accessed from multiple locations. For example, if you go to Applications, to System Tools and click Settings, then all settings window will open and if you click on network icon then network window will open where you can review and set up or modify already existing network configuration. Then you can access this network window if you click on Ethernet icon. It can be wireless radio icon in case if you use laptop with wireless connection. So if you click on Ethernet port icon in GNOME panel and then if you click on wired and wired settings network window where you can change setup or modify network configuration is opened again. You can open this window if you click on Ethernet port icon again. And then if you click on all settings icon, which is wrench and screwdriver icon, and then all settings window will open. And from all settings window, you can click on network icon and you will come again to network window where you can change setup and configure network settings. Another way how to open network window is if you press window key on your keyboard and then if you type to search network and then you click on network icon which is next to all settings icon which is this screwdriver and wrench icon. So if you click on network icon, network window is opened again. You can see in this network window that we already have network configuration in place. You can see IPv4 address and IPv6 address and a DNS server. You can activate or deactivate this network manager connection profile clicking on on or off button to modify settings of this network manager connection profile. Click on gear icon and in IPv4 window you can see that this network manager connection profile was configured to be automatic DHCP. So it obtains IP address automatically from DHCP server. It can be changed to manual to static IP address configuration and in that case you need to configure IP address, netmask, 
default gateway, primary DNS server, you can add secondary DNS server. In identity window, you can check or uncheck connect automatically button, which means that if connect automatically is checked that this network manager connection profile will be automatically active after reboot. In reset window, you can forget, which means delete this network manager connection profile at all. Now I will show you how to add second network manager connection profile and how to swap between existing network manager connection profiles because there can be more network manager connection profiles configured per one network device. So if we click on add profile button window to create new profile will be opened. If we click on IPv4 window we can set address to be manual so we want static IP address configuration and we set up our IP address which is 172.16.99.1.1 and netmask is 255.255.255.0 and default gateway is 172.16.99.1. Our primary DNS server will be Google DNS server, so 8.8.8.8. .8 .8 .8. Our secondary DNS server will be open DNS server, so 208.67.222.222. We can click add and our new network manager connection profile was added. We can see that the name of our network manager connection profile is profile 1, which doesn't say much. So we will click on the gear icon again and we will go to identity window and we will change name to rhcsa underscore one for example. We can double check here in identity window that connect automatically button is set so this connection will become active after reboot. We will click apply button. And now we can see that we have our new network manager connection profile RHCSA underscore one here in this network window. We can see that there's no this tick which is next to ETH0 connection which means that ETH0 connection is active but our RHCSA underscore one connection is not active even we have just created it before a little while. So so I will open terminal now. I will increase size of terminal with control plus keys and I will arrange these windows next to each other. So now if I will run IPA command we can see that our IP address is 172.16.99.169 which is IP address of ETH0 network manager connection profile which is DHCP automatic connection. Now we want to activate our RHCSA underscore one connection. So in network window we will click on RHCSA underscore one connection profile and we see now that this stick is now next to RHCSA underscore one connection and we can see that IPv4 address is now 172.16.99.206 which is IP address which we have just configured. We will double check this IP address with IPA command in our terminal window. So IPA and we can see that our IP address is 172.16.99.206 which is IP address which we have just configured and with IPR command we can double check our default gateway which is 172.16.99.1 which is default gateway which we have just configured and we can double check also our DNS servers with command cat slash etc slash resolve dot conf 
file and we can see that our DNS servers are 8.8.8.8 which is Google DNS server and secondary DNS server is open DNS server which are servers which we have just configured. So we have two network manager connections now configured and if we wanna go back to our first ETH0 network manager connection, we will just click on it and the tick icon will appear next to network manager connection ETH0 name. And if we run IPA command in our terminal window, we see that our DHCP obtained IP address is back. If we want to activate our second network manager connection profile, which we have just configured, it's enough just to click on it in network window and we see with IPA command in our terminal window that our static IP address was set back again. If you want, for example, remove at all ETH0 connection, click on gear icon and go to reset window and press forget button. And then our first ETH0 network manager connection profile will be removed. Please check description of this video where you will find links to another RHCSA video tutorials and another interesting video tutorials. Thanks for watching guys, please leave questions and comments below, like my video and subscribe. Thanks for watching.